Hi, this is Mark Harrison with a preview of our Pop Piano Book video instruction series, Chapter 2. Our Pop Piano Book keyboard method is used by many thousands of musicians around the world. And we've now created a 30-minute video lesson accompanying Chapter 2, which deals with rhythmic concepts and notation. Let's check out some excerpts from this video lesson. First up, we're demonstrating how 4-4 time is used in rock piano. So to quickly summarize, 4-4 time would mean there are four beats to the measure and the quarter note gets the beat. The bottom number four indicates that the quarter note gets the beat. If we look over now on page 21, we see an example of 4-4 time written there in figure 2.17. And actually right underneath it, in 2.18, we also see common time. That means the same as 4-4. So whether you see the 4-4 written or the C symbol written, they mean exactly the same thing. So the overwhelming majority of contemporary songs and styles make use of 4-4 time. So I'm going to improvise a pop rock example in 4-4 time. Let's check it out. In particular case, my left hand was outlining all of the downbeats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so on. So we can clearly hear the 4-4 four, four time signature there. Next, we apply both straight and swing 16th note feels to a funk groove. Let's further try to illustrate this distinction between straight and swing sixteenths by looking at figure 2.40 here on page 26. First of all, I'll apply a straight sixteenth pattern to this, so all of the sixteenth notes will be evenly divided. Let's have a listen. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to do the same pattern but in a swing sixteenth feel. Here's how that would sound. Again, a subtle but important distinction there. Finally, in this preview, we get into open voicings played in both straight eights and swing eight styles. Later on here in figure 2.48, we're subdividing by eighth notes. We could do that in either a straight eights manner or a swing eights manner. Let's first of all do it in straight eights. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now conversely, if I did it in swing eights, it would sound like this. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Looking ahead now to figure 2.49, we see that the rhythm is a little sparser. We also have an anticipation. We're landing on the end of two, that is to say, halfway through beat two, and tying across to beat three. That's anticipating beat three. Kind of feels like we're playing beat three a little bit early, in other words. This particular anticipated rhythm is used in many pop rock songs. So I'll play this first of all in a straight eight style. Here we go. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Now, I could swing the eights on that. Let's have a shot of that. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The complete video lesson covers all of the chapter two content in depth, including rhythmic notation, time signatures, rhythmic subdivision, how to count rhythms, and using anticipations in musical styles. For the best results, we recommend using this video lesson together with the Pop Piano Book. You can order the Pop Piano Book and the video instruction series from our website at harrisonmusic.com. I hope you enjoy our Chapter 2 video lesson, and good luck with your music.